We've got an interesting debate today. Top 10 Premier League strikers of all time. Now, these are going to be obviously our personal top 10s for various reasons. And I'm sure we'll have different criteria that we'll be looking at when going through these top 10s. Um, before we do get into our top 10s, I'm not even sure I've got mine in order, but we'll go with what I've got anyway. Um, before we get into our top 10s, any notable players that haven't made your top 10? Jermaine Defoe for me. I didn't and expect him to be in your top 10. Didn't you? I think that's a fair... He's Premier he's, League strikers of all time. Yeah, he's, he's top 10 of all time. No, I love Jermaine Defoe. Fantastic, but... Played hundreds of games in the... Uh, a lot of people listening Burkamp to this, watching this... No, no, no. Sheringham. Fowler. No. Owen. No. Yeah. Harland. Owen is. Not Harland. See, they're notable names. Defoe, no Defoe, no, Defoe's like I think right, Defoe's guys, top ten all Darren time scorer. Isn't in my top. 10. No, Defoe's better. Than, Bent's a bad shout, but <laughs> Defoe. A lot of people would say Defoe. Guys, Kevin Phillips isn't in my top ten. <laughs> Matt Latisse isn't in my top ten. Um, what about you? Players. Any any big players that you? I just mentioned them. Dwight York. Dwight York's not in my top ten. He's not in. No. Um, I have got a few United players. In my yeah, top I, I bet you do. But well, I can I argue 10. for them proper. Yeah, I can. I can. Uh, mine is, by the way, it's not just about numbers, stats. I think it's also got to be about technical ability as a striker. If you want them playing in your dream eleven, you know, Team yeah. X, your striker is the tenth most likely for me in the Premier League era is Nicholas Anelka. Ooh, shout! I like that. He's not in my top ten. Great striker. Mix Big of, fan of technical it. ability. If you yeah. ask anyone from the nineties, from the French kind of the youth academy system and, and at Arsenal, he had more technical ability than Thierry Henry. He had more pace than Thierry Henry. People say this, not me. Um, and then obviously won the Premier League with Chelsea. He had a great record with Bolton. I know it's Bolton, but the level to be scoring the kind of goals he did for Bolton, for Man City. Um, What's happening, everyone? I'm really sorry to interrupt the clip, but just before you get back to it, I just need to let you know that this clip is brought to you by Super 6. Super 6 is a fantastic app, and it won't cost you a penny to play. That is so important. Listen up. It will not cost you a penny, and you could win £250,000. All you need to do is predict six scores correctly, and if you get them right, you will win £250,000. They have partnered with us for this whole season. All you need to do is click the link in the description below. Make sure that you join our mini league. The code is CLUB23. We would love to see you there. Thank you so much for allowing the rude intrusion on your clip from me to let you know about Super 6. Enjoy the rest of the clip. And then obviously winning. And he was nearly the top scorer for Chelsea under Ancelotti, if not the top scorer. He was unplayable that season. I think he has to go top 10. Uh, my 10th on my list. Again, this could check... Like, my list... And the order it could change so much on any given Sunday. Um, but Didier Drogba is in my 10th position. Obviously, he probably doesn't have the numbers of some of the strikers that will be on this list. And people kind of knock him for some of them, but he was a winner. And his team usually won when he was up top. Like, absolutely fantastic striker. You look at his cup final records and that yeah. as well. I know we're doing Premier League here, but Didier Drogba. It matters. It matters. An absolute, and with Rory not being here in this debate, we have to get him. He'd be living with somewhere. you though, for nine, a four out of ten. Is Drogba in your list? Yeah, he's way higher right. than that though. All way right. higher. All right, all right. Who's number nine for you? Carlos Tevez. Oh, great! And people shout. forget Not in about my ten. This. Yeah, and and I think as a City fan, looking at him a season before, well, two seasons before Aguero joined, he had more technical ability than Aguero. He had a harder work rate, and and that's not to say Aguero was lazy, but you can attest to this as a United fan. Tevez's work rate off the ball was scary. It was it was. Opposition defenders had never seen anything like it in terms of mm. a presser off the ball, in my opinion. And obviously Suarez kind of emulated that later on down the line. Um, so yeah, Carlos Tevez won the Premier League with City. We would never have won the Premier League without Carlos Tevez. Mm. He's an unreal player. I, I, when I think about Carlos Tevez as well, 7 08 season for United. Unbelievable in that front three with Ronaldo and Rooney. Absolute fantastic. Not in my top 10 though. Number nine for me is Luis Suarez. <laughs> yeah. Um, Unreal, obviously didn't. Maybe that you can use that against him, but obviously after that he went on to have a fantastic career outside the Premier League. Didn't win the Premier League trophy when maybe he should have won the League Cup. That's but it. he was unreal. He was like that season is up there with like individual seasons of you know some of the best. It's close to Ronaldo for me. Yeah, before he went to Real Madrid. Um, unreal. That kind of level. Um, so I didn't yeah. put him in my top ten because you got to factor in longevity. You got to factor in did any of these players win the Premier League? I'm pretty sure everyone on my list, except Michael Owen, uh, won the Premier League. So Michael Owen won the Premier League. Did Man United. Oh, okay. oh yeah, of course. Yeah, fine. Yeah, that, that's a that's a fair. <laughs> it's a bit one. of a cheat. Really. Yeah, it's a bit. There's a bit of a cheat one. Yeah, but we did uh, score the winner against you. I guess. If it's pure technical ability, it'd be Liverpool fans slagging us off for well, especially me for not putting him in top ten. But if it's pure technical ability as a striker, he's probably number. He's probably one. 
could he's probably one. He's not in, not number one though. Who's number eight? Uh, I've actually put Michael Owen. I think winning the Ballon d'Or in the Premier League era uh, for an Englishman is is incredible. His pace, his finishing ability. Um, I think you've got to have a bit of Michael Owen representation. He, what a slept on player. Yeah, unreal when he broke through and for for a couple of you know two or three seasons. Well, absolutely fantastic. Not in my top ten though. Not in my wow. top ten. Number eight for me is Alan Shearer. He brought the. <laughs> A lot of people would expect him to be higher, but I just think... That's low, man. Nah, he, he, That's he, low. He was absolutely unbelievable for Newcastle, consistently score goals, you know, season in, season out, and of yeah. course did win it at Blackburn. But so he won the Premier League, and some, he's got the some highest striker ever. in here that did it week in, week out in the Champions <laughs> League as well. Have you put Teddy Sheringham ahead of No, Alan Teddy Shearer. Sheringham's not in my top right. Um But Alan, like Alan Shearer, unreal goal scorer. That's well, the it. best ever. He's, he's the, best. the best. He ever. is the best because he scored he's the got, most. He's got the most goals. He's got the most goals. Fine. Not necessarily the best ever. It's he, like saying he, Harry Kane's England's best ever. People would argue player. in the he's box not. he's the best finisher in the Premier League in Premier League era. People he's would argue that in terms of inside the box. Maybe not link up play in the Suarez factor and dribbling. Yeah, yeah. Not saying pure that. goal scorer. Pure goal scorer. So, and then he's won the Premier League. Yeah. With Blackburn, which is a bit of an underdog story, relatively speaking, also, in the Man United it, era. A lot of these strikers on it also did it in the Champions League. Also won a lot more titles. I just know what Geordies are like on Twitter. I'm going to get Fuck slagged them. off. So I'm going to say Alan Shearer is definitely not eight for me. He's in my top ten. <laughs> and there's, like, you, Dennis Burkamp is a better player than him. Oh. Not a better goal scorer. No, a better not a better player. striker. Burkamp's not in my Burkamp top ten. Burkamp doesn't even count for me because he was, he, was he was a... Yeah, like Cristiano Ronaldo's a not ten. a consideration for this. He was yeah. a winger in. Yeah, Premier exactly. League. Um, so you did your eight who's seven I'm going for Andy Cole uh, third on the all time scorers list what three or four Premier League titles uh, more than that more than that is it yeah yep. obviously uh, treble winner even before Newcastle United even sometimes I like with some of these players the back end of their career nicking goals he was nicking won goals won the league for Blackburn yeah won the he played for Fulham played for Portsmouth and of course Played for Man City as well. Birmingham um, City. Uh, so he had a very long career in the Premier League and that's why he's third on the all-time scorers list. Seven for me, Rude Van Nistelrooy. 150 <laughs> oh, goals in 200 games. Above in the Premier Alan Shearer. Unreal goal scorer. Did it in the Champions League. Did it for Real Madrid. 150 goals in 200 games. That's amazing. 150 I've goals never heard in that. 200 games. I've actually never heard that in that way. Unreal was Rude Van Nistelrooy. 150 in 200? Yep. That's three and four. Yep. That's amazing. I've Unreal. never heard that in my, in my life. Unreal. For Manchester United, 150 goals. What about his record yeah. trophy-wise? It was a bit of a He won a Premier League title, yeah. but he didn't win as much as he maybe should have. Yeah, yeah. He, he should have won he the did Champions win a Premier League. Never title. won the Champions League, did he? Uh, especially in England. Um, yeah, and considering he had like five years at United, four or five years at Madrid, Madrid, you'd yeah, think yeah. he would have um, won it. In that slot, I've put uh, Didier Drogba. Because I think everyone ahead of him now on my list just makes sense. And I don't think he can claim to be above the other names that we will talk about. But uh, Didier Drogba, there was a couple of seasons he was on, he was the best striker in the league. And I think some of the strikers we've talked about actually can't attest the same way that we've been the best striker in the league for an individual season. Suarez, maybe. Uh, maybe Michael Owen. But Drogba had t at least two years where he was the best striker hands down in the league. You know, unplayable physically. So Drogba's six for you? Yep. Okay. Good shot. Yeah, what about you? I can't, don't think like I'm not gonna disagree with your top ten because it would just be we're, we're talking about elite strikers here, you know what I mean? And there's some elite strikers missing out as well. That is true. That is true. Um number six, was it number six we were on? Yep. Number six for me, Andy Cole. Yeah. You know, goals galore. Did it in Europe as well, if you want to chuck that into the mix. Did it at the top level, scored goals for not just Manchester United, but teams that were fighting at the different end of the table as well. Um, absolutely phenomenal and like you said so many goals without taking penalties imagine he took penalties cool. he'd have the record probably. unplayable unplayable even that season before at Newcastle mm. when you spent Unreal, 8 million 40 quid on him goals. 40 odd goals outrageous in a season outrageous um, moving on to fifth we're into our top five now this way it gets I, nitty gritty I don't like saying this but because without the trophy I love winding Spurs, up, Spurs fans up but Harry Kane's fifth well have we got a snap yeah. I've got Kane in fifth on mine as well. We've got something that's bang on the same. Yeah, R Rory um, puts him number one, I think, one or two. And I think that's crazy. I think goals you could, equal there's titles. There's an argument there. 
Yeah. But there are, it's not, obviously, I agree with you. Fifth for me. Football's about scoring goals. But there goals. is an Winning argument trophies about scoring big goals. And he scored big goals in, in a small pond at Spurs. He's like doing it now for had Bayern. all the Premier League strikers ever in their prime, and you were picking one or two to lead your line, you could make the argument for Kane. I mean, I wouldn't. No. There's a few strikers that take ahead of him. Four, in fact. But you could make the argument for Kane. Lack of big moments in the Premier League era. I, you I, could argue Spurs wouldn't have you know, achieved yeah. Champions League football, all those different things without having Harry Kane. Yeah, but then I think you take it on a, a whole different level. I think you, you say Harry Kane, especially in that title run where they nearly won the league uh, against Chelsea, for example. And I, I know he scored against Chelsea in, in, in the in penultimate game before they could have won the league and obviously Leicester won it. But just not enough that season where he could have scored. Could he have done a little bit more as a great to get Spurs over the line in these big games? I didn't see enough of it. Hmm. See, but I consider him a better player than Shearer. That's why he's ahead of Shearer in my list. Well, he's ahead of, not ahead of Shearer. But then we can't, we can't, how can you justify that Kane's goals led to nothing at, at Spurs? And Shearer, Shearer won he, one he put himself like in positions there. to score goals. He won one league title. Blackburn like to win the league. Yeah, but Black, that, that was a Blackburn team that Jack Walker spent a lot of money on. Yeah, but he was the figurehead of that side. Do you know what I mean? And he had Chris Sutton next to him, so he had to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in number four for you then? Because we both had Kane fifth. Kane fifth, Shearer fourth, and that's Ooh. just down to. Top scorer ever in the in the history of the league, winning that Premier League title, uh, the stature of the man, his record for England's good as well. A uh, anything higher for me is a bit he's punching a little bit in terms of technical ability at this point. It's all about the technical mm. ability of, the, of all these strikers. In number four for me, Sergio Aguero. Um, okay. Yeah. Obviously, on real striker, goal record was insane. Um, score goals for fun, low centre of gravity, mm. tenacious. Like, scored goals from outside the box, inside the box, whatever you say, he could do it as a striker. Um, yeah, absolutely incredible. And City needs some representation in here. And if it is anyone, it's going to be him. We have. We've got Andy Cole. He represents City. And we've Come got on. Carlos Tevez and uh, Nicholas Anelka. Oh, yeah. All play for City. Uh, You're not being uh, biased, huh? Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, I am. Number three is Wayne Rooney. Okay. And I think he is... Uh, he has that mixture of a few of these players that we've we've mentioned, maybe Anelka, Tevez, incredible talents. Rooney was the one on this list makes defenders really petrified. Mm. Scary player to <clears throat> play against. And his quality of finishing, people don't rate his, his kind of maybe his numbers because he's all over the place playing in midfield at points, right wing, left wing. If he played striker for 15 years at United, solidly, he'd be 300 goals in the league. Mm. Uh, third for me, Eric Cantona. Um, the amount of league titles he won. Um, the only time United didn't win the league titles when he was suspended for kicking a fan. <laughs> he also won the league at Liverpool, uh, Leeds just before that as well. So when you look at that, people talk about Kante, who brought it from Leicester to Chelsea and all these kind of things. Eric Cantona was literally the Premier League trophy. Um, and him getting suspended was the reason why, you know, Blackburn went and won it. Um, when you think of some of the most iconic Premier League moments, the goals... Just everything about Eric Cantona was class. And you look at the era as well. I think when you think of like the magic of the Premier League, like poof, it was so good. So, so, so good. Catalog of goals, presence, aura. I didn't see enough of him. Everything. Leader as well. He he brought that team through. Without him, you don't have the Beckham and the Giggs and the Skulls and those. Mm. They're not the same players. That How they, many goals did he get in the Premier League? Put about 100. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Exact. I'm not sure. People would that. use the lack of longevity in that regard, wouldn't they? In, in an argument. Well, you 10. say that, but five, six seasons is a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to win the league in five of those seasons and the one you don't is because you're suspended. That's amazing. Like the way, yeah, the way you put it, that is a very good argument, mate. Actually. You know what I mean? So <laughs> you, that is longevity, is it not? Yeah. I'd die yeah. for a Man United striker to have that longevity at the moment. Martial's got that longevity. Yeah, he has. Like one, one goal a season. He's been consistently uh, around. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, okay. And then but now we're moving into the top two. Top two. Uh, I'll put Sergio Aguero number two. Oh. Um, I think. I, the, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I know it's a bit biased, but I can't. Moan about it. Like, when I do, uh, can we, we, we do so many videos throughout the season, combined 11s or all time Premier League era 11s. If it's 4 4 2, like the lo largest part of their Premier League history four, would be 4 4 two. 2, it'd be Henri and Aguero for me as the two leading the line because of what they can do on the ball. Their link up play would be exquisite. But the one factor is we talk about strikers, we talk about R9, we talk about, uh, 
you know, even Pele, the Maradonas of the world. That cinematic factor of all these strikers that we're talking about, I think Henri has to be number one because Aguero doesn't quite have that in the eyes of other fans. He does for City fans. And I love him to bits and the QPR moment was historic. But that va va that chipping up, chipping up the ball and scoring it, smashing it top corner, 30 yards out here, Henri. What can I say to that lineage? Mm. Number two for me is Thierry Henri. Um, <laughs> What can I say? I'd never admit he was great when he was great because I just hated him. Like, at the time, going through that rivalry, United versus Arsenal, you know, I couldn't admit that Thierry Henry was great, but everybody feared him. He did it with finesse, class, scored every single goal you can imagine, dribbling through teams, flicking it up and booting it in from, you know, 25 yards. He just had everything about him. Now, people use the cup final thing against him, but I don't, like, his team's won trophies, ultimately. Mm. Um, and yeah, just <laughs> magic. Absolutely magic. So you've put the current Birmingham City manager's number one? Yes. Wow. Yes. I think Why are you pre- ruining I my number a- one like that? Well, he's, he's the yeah, current we're Birmingham City up, manager. We're I think building he's having, up tension. He's having the worst run in the history of Birmingham City Football Club. Over 120 years of history. Nearly got a win against <laughs> Kieran <laughs> McKenna's mighty Ipswich, by the way. <laughs> 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 Who's your number one? Look, for all the reasons Thierry. you said, Thierry Henry is number oh, one. Oh, sorry. For me. Yeah, yeah. Thierry Henry is number one for me. Um, Wayne Rooney is number one for me. I think he's the greatest player the Premier League's had. I think you look at Wayne Rooney, he is the Premier League. Like, everything great bit. about the pre- Premier League. Technical quality, catalogue of goals. He won all the trophies. Longevity. Whatever you want to throw at him, every single argument you can make, mm. Wayne Rooney can answer it. He sacrificed himself for his teammates at times. He, be, he, he could be the main man, lead the line, as we seen when Cristiano Ronaldo left and he scored 34-odd goals. Like, he could do whatever. Mm. Like, Wayne Rooney was just unbelievable. I think he's the greatest English player ever. I know people talk about Sir Bobby Charlton. I'm not old enough to, to discuss that. But... Wayne Rooney, man, just... If it was the final minute of a, of a Champions League final or the final day Wayne of the Rooney's Premier League... Wayne Rooney's scored in one of them. Henri hasn't. That's true, but what... If they're running through on goal, <laughs> is, he, is he a better striker than Henri? If he's through on goal I, to get you one goal I think Thierry Henri was a better finisher. Yeah. But there's a lot... I think there's better finishers is than Henri. Is Rooney just a better player than Henri's a better striker? I don't know. I, 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 maybe I'm biased, but Wayne Rooney is just the Premier League. He is the Premier League. The greatest player the Premier League has had. I can't disagree with that. I wish I could. 